الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله قال الله تبارك وتعالى في كتابه الكريم إن الذين فتنوا المؤمنين والمؤمنات ثم لم يتوبوا فلهم عذاب جهنم ولهم عذاب الحريق Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says for kitabihi al-kareem that verily those who cause fitna, you know, who are fitna, who are, uh, you know, who oppress, who kill and destroy the believers, the believing men and believing women, for them is the punishment of the hellfire. And... It is a severe punishment in, you know, harik, you know, just being totally burned and burned in the hellfire. Wa'iyadhan billah wa'iyakum in al-nar. Ahabat of Allah. If mankind were to know and reflect on this verse, this statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the kalam of Allah azza wa jal, the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they would realize the severity of oppression in general, but especially oppressing the mu'minin wa mu'minat. We do not believe, as far as ahlul sunnati wal jama'ah, in oppressing anyone. Oppression of vulm, is something Ahlul Sunnati Wal Jama'ah is free from as far as their Aqeedah and their Mu'amalat and their actions. Even if individuals, as individuals who can be from Ahlul Sunnah, can oppress, they can fall into that and sin as other human beings sin. But as far as the Madhab and the way of Ahl Sunnah, that that is something that any believer should be free from. And so, those people who oppress the Mu'mineen, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in that ayah, they have a severe torment. They will have a severe burning in the hellfire. And we can't even imagine what those torments are like. We only know from Revelation, meaning the Wahiyain, meaning the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Sunnah is also a type of Wahi, because he didn't speak from his desires. And... For those who have experienced any kind of harik in the dunya, even something as, as simple as burning your finger with a match, or some or some people have been afflicted by have been burnt. You know, they've been in through fires and lived through fires and are survivors. The burns and the flame that we experience in this life is not even a minute portion of what those people who taste the fire will, will experience. And likewise, on top of that, or moreover, is the longevity. Meaning if you are of those who die upon disbelief, shirk and kufr, without having repented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so you died in that state, then you're an inhabitant you will be an inhabitant of the of hell Khalidina Fiha burning in it severely forever and every time your skin and body begins to deteriorate or, or, or be burnt it, you'll be replaced, it will be replaced with a new one to experience that 
aggravating and severe torment. And when you think about that, Ahabatifillah, when we think about when we want to harm people and we give punishment to people in this dunya, that in order for it to be effective, there has to be some sort of sternness. Perhaps if we want to say severity. And just think of the most just, the most merciful. At the same time, he is shadid al-iqab. He is severe in punishment for a reason. And he is not unjust. And he is all wise. And he is all knowing. So the fact that he subhanahu wa ta'ala will burn the people, that means this is something absolutely severe that you commit shirk and you die upon kufr and you do other evil sins that warrant the fire so this is a reminder for us to watch how we treat one another and in fact something we should we should be telling the creation that's what da'wah in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is we should be giving dawa to the people to try to save them from the fire. But we become lax and we become lazy and we become hesitant and we just want to get on with our lives and forget our divine purpose that we were created for or the divine purpose we were created for. And that is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to forgive us and to continue to bestow his mercy and favors upon us and protect us from the torment of the fire and protect us from being tormentors of others in this life. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.